And this year's Nobel Prize in Chemistry is for developments in Metal organic frameworks, which much like this bag, are basically bigger on the inside. Metal organic frameworks, or MOFs, are these really cool molecular structures. And if we reference this highly scientific diagram I've created, at their most basic, MOFs are made up of metal ions linked together by carbon-containing organic compounds. Metal organic framework. You'll have to imagine this repeating essentially forever in three dimensions. They also come in 2D. And what you may notice looking at this scientific model is there's a lot of space in this structure. And that is really what makes this class of compounds so unique and useful. They're incredibly porous. And not only that, but by swapping out different metal ions or organic links, you can change the size and shape and properties of these pores so that they can trap specific molecules and release them under certain conditions, or catalyze specific reactions. Basically, they're very versatile materials. And that's why they're being explored in a huge range of applications, from carbon capture and renewable energy to drug delivery and environmental remediation. Another cool thing about MOFs is that they're self-assembling and generally pretty predictable. So if you choose the right metal complex and organic link, you can usually predict what kind of 2 or 3D structure will assemble out of that solution. I actually used to work in a lab studying MOFs in college, and I can genuinely say that making the most basic MOF in the lab is easier than making a model of a MOF out of marshmallows and sticks. <laughs> so this year's Nobel Prize is shared by three scientists who are central in the development of metal organic frameworks. One is Richard Robson, who created the very first metal organic frameworks in the 1980s. Second is Susumu Kitagawa, who was the first to create a MOF that could actually trap and release gases, and the first to show that these could actually be flexible materials and not just rigid. And third Third is Omar Yagi, who actually coined the term metal organic framework and created one of the most well-known materials in the field, MOF5. Yagi really made waves when he showed that a few grams of MOF5, when you measure all of the little surfaces inside of all the pores, has a surface area equivalent to a football field, which means it can store way more gas than you would expect, way more than competing materials, and in many ways is bigger on the inside. Today, literally tens of thousands of different MOFs have been developed for a range of uses, but I'll be honest, over the years there's been a lot of hype about potential applications of MOFs, and not all of those have come to fruition, at least not yet. But there are specific cases in which MOFs are actually being used, like in carbon capture and to store toxic gases in the electronics industry, and even to delay the ripening of fruits and vegetables by trapping ethylene gas, which makes them ripen faster. It remains to be seen how many of these potential applications actually come to be, but metal organic frameworks really changed the way that chemists could actually think about designing new materials, and I think that's why this technology and the scientists who developed it are so deserving of this Nobel Prize. It's also pretty cool that they essentially made the Mary Poppins bag of materials.